Hello and welcome to a Tuts Plus Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and in this video I'm going to do a quick introduction to the Mesh tool, how to create a Mesh object, and go over some terms you'll use when working with Gradient Mesh. The first way to create a Gradient Mesh is to select an object, then go up to the Object menu and choose Create Gradient Mesh. Here you can specify the number of rows and columns and choose the appearance. If you choose to center, a highlight is added in the center of the object, and if you choose to edge, that highlight goes around the edge. You can also adjust the strength of the highlight here, and choose whether to use the preview to see your mesh before clicking OK. Another way to create a mesh is by using the Mesh tool. Unlike some of the Shape Builder tools, you can't create a mesh from scratch with the Mesh tool. You have to start with an existing object. So you see that right now my cursor has a circle with a slash through it, but when I hover over this object, the cursor gets a plus sign, and I can click anywhere on the object to create a mesh. A point is created with two intersecting lines. If I click on a horizontal line, a new vertical line is created, and if I click on a vertical line, a new horizontal line is created. And of course I can click anywhere else in the object to create a new pair of lines. A third way, and one that's not used very often, is to start with a gradient filled object, then go up to the Object menu and choose Expand. In the dialog box, click Gradient Mesh and click OK. It doesn't look much different right now because what happens is that a clipping mask is also created in the process. So go up to the Object menu to Clipping Mask Release, and now you can see the mesh underneath. Now let's look at some gradient mesh terminology. The square points on a mesh object are called anchor points. The diamond shaped points are mesh points. The lines are called mesh lines. And the space between the mesh lines is called the mesh patch. Finally, let's take a look at the mesh tool itself. You can access it in the tool panel. You can also use the keyboard shortcut U. That's just the letter U no modifier. As we've seen, we can't create a mesh with a mesh tool, but we can turn an object into a mesh object by clicking anywhere on the object with the mesh tool. And you'll see because I had this lighter blue in my color swatch, that new mesh point takes on that color. You can click anywhere on the object to create a new pair of lines, or if I click on a vertical line, a new horizontal line is created, and if I click on a horizontal line, a new vertical line is created. The Mesh tool can also be used to remove points. So if I hold down my Option key, and that's the Alt key on Windows, and click right on this point, you see that the cursor gets a minus sign on it, and that point and its corresponding lines are deleted. I can also hold down the Option or Alt key and click on a line itself to delete it. The Mesh tool can also be used to move the points, and I can just move this around freely. Or if I hold down the Shift key, I can constrain the movement in one direction or the other. So if I hold down Shift and move my point up and down, the vertical line doesn't move, and if I move from left to right, the horizontal line stays put. The Mesh tool can also be used to manipulate the handles on the point, and you can see that when I rotate this one handle, its corresponding handle moves as well. If I hold down the Shift key while rotating, all of the handles spin around that one point. I can also use the Direct Selection tool, the white arrow, to move and manipulate points. The Direct Selection tool can do one thing that the Mesh tool can't, and that is select multiple points. So I can select this point, hold down the Shift key, and select the other one, and I can move those both at the same time. Or I can also choose to select multiple points and change their fill color. So I hope this helps you better understand how to create a mesh object and how to use the mesh tool.